let us continue our discussion on the distribution of metallic and non-metallic minerals and their uses. In our previous lesson, we learnt about some important metallic minerals. We learnt how they are unevenly distributed. We also learnt about some leading producers of particular minerals and we saw how important they are on a daily basis. So in our previous lesson, we learnt about iron ore, uranium, bauxite and copper. Today, we will continue with the rest of metallic minerals and then we'll go on to non-metallic minerals. Now let us come to the most widely used and precious metallic mineral that is gold. So gold is a precious metallic mineral. It has a high economic value and so it is used as a foreign currency or foreign exchange in many places and it is also widely used to make jewelries. So gold is a metallic mineral which has a high economic value and also a high face value. Now let us look at the distribution of gold in India and in the world. In India, there are many places that have huge deposits of gold and are also leading producers of gold. These are Rajasthan, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Jharkhand, West Bengal and Bihar. Now out of all these states, Karnataka is the largest producer of gold in India. Now in the global perspective, these are the countries that are leading in the production of gold. Now out of all these countries, China is the largest producer of gold in the world. Other than China, other countries that are doing well in the production of gold or the important precious mineral are Canada, USA, Ghana, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Russia, Indonesia, Japan, Philippines, Papua New Guinea and Australia. So these are the leading producers of gold in the world out of which China is topping the list. Another important precious metallic mineral is silver. So silver is also commonly and widely used to make jewellery pieces. It is also used in making tablewares. Such tablewares signifies royalty. Now silver is also used in the making of camera. So silver just like gold which is a precious metallic mineral has various uses. Now the leading producers of this mineral in India are Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh and Jharkhand. Now out of all of these, Rajasthan is the largest producer of silver in India. And globally, Mexico as a country is doing very well. It is the largest producer of silver in the world. Now other than Mexico, other leading producers of silver that is a precious metallic mineral are Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, Chile, USA, Canada, Poland, Russia, China and Australia. So these are the leading producers of silver. Now let us come to another important metallic mineral and this is the last metallic mineral that we will be learning about and that is manganese. Now manganese is widely used in glass articles. So for decorative glass articles that are used as show pieces in various places either in our homes or in restaurants or in cafes these are made generally out of Manganese. Manganese is also widely used in electric batteries because it has magnetic properties which is good for any electrical which is good for any electrical purpose and it is also commonly used to make roof tiles or rooftops and bricks that can be used on the floor. It is further used in iron and steel industry. 
So we see that manganese plays a very important role from, from decorative glass articles to electric batteries to rooftops and bricks and also in iron and steel industry which is one of the most important industries in today's time. Now before we proceed with the lesson, could you help me answer this simple question? Which of the following does not require the mineral manganese? Is it the glass articles, the cement industry, electrical batteries or the flow tiles? The correct answer is cement industry. Cement industry is where manganese is not used. Manganese is instead used in iron and steel industry and in all the other things that are mentioned here. So, the distribution of manganese that is an important metallic mineral in India we see covers a huge area of the peninsula subcontinent. We see that states like Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and Jharkhand are the leading producers of this metallic mineral. Now out of all of these, Madhya Pradesh is the largest producer of manganese in India. Now if we take a look at the world map, we see that these are the leading producers of manganese in the world. Now these countries are Mexico, Brazil, Ghana, Gabon, South Africa, China and Australia. Now out of all of these, South Africa is the largest producer of manganese in the world. So here we completed our discussion on the distribution of metallic minerals where today we learnt about gold, silver and manganese. We also learnt about their importance and how they are used in different places. So we'll continue our discussion by taking a look at the non-metallic minerals out of which we'll be learning about mica and limestone. Now limestone is a mineral rock, right? It is a form of sedimentary rock which has an important mineral that is calcite. So limestone is widely used in production of cement and as a building material. It is also considered an important ingredient in toothpaste which we use every morning. So limestone is an important non-metallic mineral and it has various uses. So here is a map of India that tells us or shows us the distribution of this particular non-metallic mineral. We see that there are various leading producers of this non-metallic mineral and these are Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. Out of these states, Madhya Pradesh is the largest producer of limestone in India. So let us take a look at the world map to see how this particular mineral is distributed. So there are various places that has huge deposits of this mineral and the countries there are leading producers of this mineral. So these countries that are doing well in the production of limestone are USA, Brazil, Russia, China and India. Now out of all these countries, China is the largest producer of limestone in the world. Now let us come to another non-metallic mineral and that is mica. So mica if you remember from the previous lesson does not contain any magnetic properties and it is neither a good conductor of heat and electricity. So it is a poor conductor of heat and electricity and therefore it acts as a good insulator and therefore mica is widely used in electrical appliances as an insulator to protect from any sort of fire or to prevent damage in short circuiting incidents. Now other than that mica is also used in decorative panels as you can see here in this pictures both in windows and in lamps. So mica is an important non-metallic mineral which has various uses. In India, these are the leading producers of mica. Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, Jharkhand and Bihar. Out of all these states, Andhra Pradesh is the largest producer of mica in India. However, globally, China is topping the list and is the largest producer of this mineral. Other than China, 
other countries that are doing well in the production of this mineral are Argentina, USA, Canada, France, Finland, Russia, and India, while China is the largest producer of this mineral. So in this lesson, we were able to understand the distribution of these minerals in different parts of the world and how they are used in our everyday routine. In our next lesson, we will take a look at the distribution of organic minerals or fossil fuels. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5,000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.